Hey guys, welcome back to Quick Tip of the Week. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to create a beam of light for any type of manipulation that you are going to be making. Let's get started. Okay, so this week I'm going to be teaching you how to create a light beam coming from maybe the sky or any, uh, in any kind of manipulation that you're going to be making. Okay, so here's the example that I have made. Um, this was actually a school project. It didn't come out exactly how I wanted it to because if you really look close at the house, you can see how it's a little bit off. It just doesn't look right, okay? So, um, but that's not what we're going to worry about. Um, we're going to worry about this little light beam right here. Um, I'll actually show you that real quick. Uh... Okay, it's uh, this part right here. These, this light beam right here. That's what I'm gonna be showing you. Okay. Let me actually just move this up here. So this right here, this light beam right here, all through here, all of this is what I'm gonna be showing you how to do. Um, this is a very good technique that will make a lot of your manipulations look so much better and so much more. Um, I'm not calling myself professional, but that's sort of the direction that you're going when you create something like this So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. Okay, so we're gonna take away the main layers that I am using to make this kind of light beam and then um, Okay, so now it's just the regular picture which uh, well, of course, there's a whole bunch of uh, color corrections and everything like that But don't worry about that that um, you should probably um uh, sorry, excuse me. You should probably do um, all the color corrections and everything before you go into the lighting. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I did though. Okay, so we're going to create a new layer. Make sure it's at the top of everything. It has to be at the very top. Okay, so we're going to create a new layer. And then we're going to take the pen tool for this one. And then what you're going to do is you're going to outline where you want the uh, lighting to be. Okay, so I want it to, to the... the um, the most uh, bottom edge, I want it to touch right here, and then I want it to be coming from up here. And then it just depends on how narrow you want it to be when it's all the way up here. Um, it just depends on what you like, so I'm going to put it right there. And then I want it to come all the way out to around here, is where I want the top layer to be. Okay? And then I'm just going to connect these, and I'm going to make sure that my first selected color is completely white. And then I'm gonna make sure that I have the uh, empty layer selected, and then I'm just gonna right-click with the uh, pen tool, and then do uh, fill path. Okay, and just leave everything as is. If you want to look at the settings that I have, just make sure that there are these settings, and then do OK. Now you should have this. Okay. Now the next thing you're gonna do is just right-click on the on the path again, and then do delete path. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we have this layer selected. We're gonna go all the way up to filter, blur, and I used motion blur. Okay. So now here is the angle that you want it to be. I usually put it on the angle where the light is coming from, so about 45. And then you just have to keep playing around with it. Okay. Now, when you have this, uh, something similar to that, you're gonna have to put, turn the opacity down, okay? Now once that starts happening, you can go back into blurring it some more. So you have a better understanding of what it's going to be looking like. Okay. And now that it's, now that I blurred it some more, it looks really nice. So I can see that there's a little thing right here that I, I don't really like. So I'm just going to quickly erase that. Just... <clears throat> I'm just going to just quickly erase it. Okay. Actually, I'll just leave it. Just leave it for now. We'll fix it later. Okay. So now that you have this, um, these, this little beam of light, um, you're going to leave it as is like this. Now you can, if you really look at it, you can tell that it's not really realistic, which in, an, in a uh, manipulation, that's what you need is real, um, for everything that you make to be realistic. Okay. Now what I was playing around with was, um, this, uh, these right here. Um, and I'll show you real quick what they do. So we're going to make a new layer and this layer has to be on top of the lighting. Okay. It has to be on top of it. So make sure that you have that layer selected. And then what I use is black and white. So make sure that if you just don't, if you're too lazy to put the actual colors there, just click this little button right here and it'll put these to default colors. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to filter. We're going to go to render and then clouds. And it should start to look like this. Um, now what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to overlay. 
and then you'll start to see this. If you don't want it overlay, you can go to soft light also, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn down the opacity a tiny bit. Okay, now it's starting to look a bit realistic. Now what I actually did was erased it just a tiny bit around some odd edges. So it uh, wasn't taking up the entire space. Now you can see like when I erase it, it doesn't like completely go away, but it does go away a bit and this is what you want. So you can just do this until it's to your liking. And then after that, it should it should be uh you just have to play around with it a little bit and uh, it should get to your liking. So if you want if you want to just use this effect, it'll be really really good on a lot of manipulations that you can make and it makes a nice texture to it that makes it m uh, much more realistic. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick tip of the week. Um, if you did enjoy, please do remember to like and uh, comment. And uh, if you would like to learn about uh, Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, and Adobe After Effects, then please do subscribe, guys. Thanks, and I'll see you later.